Well, because it's winter and the sun's at such a crappy low angle. Thank you for the PC version of what you were saying. I just said crappy. That's, that's what I mean. Cool. I said thank you for it. <laughs> I wasn't being smart that time. I'm going to try and hang this on the front of the van. Come to inspect because we've already picked our spot at Cliffhead South. Make sure we didn't miss out on something better. <laughs> Can't get over how calm the water is, it looks like the lake. So we just went for a walk to um, where do we go? Cliffhead Central. Yes, this north one apparently full drive. Which we aren't. <laughs> and then Central and then we're in the south. It's so awesome man. A bit of weed on the beaches here and there but man this is amazing. And all like really heaps of spots. Heaps of spots and heaps, heaps of them are like you can literally almost park on the beach. And toilets and uh, barbecue areas. There's no barbecues or anything like that, but there's heaps of places to sit and heaps of little fire pits. Yeah, you love fires. We haven't had a fire yet. I have to get some wood <laughs> somewhere. I'll check this out. I reckon. Here's the, pod. Here's the pod. Oh, you can see the pod as you're coming up the track. That's cool. How nice is it being back in the sun? So good. Shirtless. Lying Actually in the warm. sun. Wind's gone. Hiding in the caravan because the flies have found us. Yeah, the flies are pretty good. Okie dokie, it sounds like a good plan to me. So this is our campsite and as you can see the sun is just starting to set. So we're going to grab the chairs and go down and watch the sun set over the ocean. Even though it looks more like a lake today because there is no waves. It's beautiful. This morning it was blowing a gale but now it's almost perfectly calm. How good is this? <laughs> Pretty bloody good. Here's the pod. Here's the van right there. And the beach. And the sunset.
We arrived in Dongra and unfortunately there wasn't much there and there definitely wasn't any plant-based gluten-free cafes that we could find. So we've turned around and we're heading back to Port Denison which we passed through on the way just before Dongra. So this place is stunning. It's a really pretty portside town and there's heaps of space out in the grass to sit and enjoy the water views. We spent about an hour or so here just enjoying the sun, having a look around before heading back to the pod to enjoy the rest of our last day here at Cliffhead um, before we pack up the pod and move to our next location tomorrow. <laughs> What happened? Got to turn off the gas. <laughs> <laughs> We're all packed up. Been here for three nights at uh, Cliffhead, and we stayed at Cliffhead South because there's Cliffhead South, Cliffhead Central, and Cliffhead North. But North is well. Actually, we didn't go up there, but I reckon it's four wheel drive only. But I don't know. We didn't go up there, so yeah. But South was awesome. We were right on the water. Right we, on the water. Couldn't really ask for anything better, eh? And we've had weather like this the whole time. So, what was it? Twenty dollars a night. Yeah, twenty dollars per vehicle. Per vehicle, yeah. So it's like for your whole family, which is good. And that's us. So we're off. We're off. Next adventure. Geraldton stock up, and then gonna have a look at uh, Coronation Beach. So we've just arrived in Geraldton and we're at the RV uh, park and they have overnight 24 hour stay and 5 hour parking so we're just going to park for 5 hours and go and do some shopping, uh, food shopping and um, there's a dump point here so we'll take care of the bathroom as well and yeah it's actually a pretty cool little spot. And parking. Good work, Geraldton. <laughs> the black key <laughs> for the black sewage. For the blackness. <laughs> well, in our case, the yellow sewage. Cutting that out. <laughs> <laughs> the one job that I've managed to get away from so far. Yeah, how was that? I think. <laughs> how is that? <laughs> just gonna spin around so we can get some water while we're here as well just wanted to get the caravan on the high side of the water so we can get a bit more in the tank because after this we are off to Coronation Bay which is another self-contained beach well we hope as long as there's spots there when we arrive so that's the plan anyway for a bit of shopping. What do you call this thing? Hitch lock? Putting on the hitch lock? Not the most high tech hitch lock you can get. Try and prevent anyone from deciding that they want to take a lentil pod with them. Go fill up some gas bottles. Get some groceries, some lunch. All of the chores. <laughs> so now that we're heading north, 
um, we were a bit more conscious of the fact there's going to be trucks and we're going slower than the speed limit. We sit about 90 k's an hour um, and obviously the roads over here about 110 so we didn't want to get in people's way too much so we've gone out and purchased some radios, little portable ones so we can use them for backing, um, backing when we get to caravan parks as well as um, having a channel channel 40 so that the truck drivers can contact us and we can let them know if there's uh, room for them to pass and that we will slow down to allow them through so yeah now we've just got to put the stickers on the back of the caravan we've just been to Bunnings and bought those so that people know that we have a radio and they can talk to us Tony's been a painful actor <laughs> all I said is please don't give me 10 chins <laughs> <laughs> as you held the camera down on it. <laughs> you're an idiot <laughs> Alright, so we went to Bunnings and we have bought these little bad boys, um, they're reflective decals. So Chris and I obviously can't spell and we've bought an extra C, which we don't need, but... That would have been Tanya for sure. <laughs> I think you picked that one up, not me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to put the pod, channel 40, so let's jump outside now and stick it up. That's so all the trucks can swear at us when we're going too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a clean before we stick the stickers up. Chris is on the little red mushroom. Because <laughs> we have short people problems. World's safest stool. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in jazz reach? All five foot, what, nine? Is that how tall you are? I should know that. That's all I am. Five foot nine. Did you say how tall or that, that's all? That's all I am. That's all. <laughs> that's okay. I missed out on the tall jeans. They all got sucked up. By your brothers? By my brothers. <clears throat> I don't know how that works because I'm the oldest. I feel like I got ripped off. <laughs> Luckily I'm only a short nub then so it doesn't matter. So we didn't bring any way of having a straight line so we're just using a decal. Uh, left hand down. Down. Uh, up, up a wee bit. Smidge more up. Yep. Perfect. Can you spell? No. Sure is straight. It's odd. We are a bit odd. You're a bit odd. <laughs> you married me. Odd must be your thing. Must be. The pod. Now what? Now we need to put channel 40 at the top. This? Channel 40 had no gap. Yeah, close the gap. Yeah, I reckon. Close the gap. Don't, no. like, don't like the gap. <laughs> you do say you don't like the gap. Letterbox stickers from Bunnings. Amtron Straight Edge. <laughs> right, now people can call us. It's got the radios plugged in, just charging up. Got them on just in case the truck wants to call us. <laughs> I'm going to be excited the first time we hear someone call us. <laughs> You're not even going to speak. You're going to yourself and throw it at me. That's 100% what I'm going to do. <laughs> I was even thinking I had a clipped on the window before next to me. I was like, that ain't going to work because I ain't answering it. <laughs> We've arrived. Just 
arrived at Coronation Bay. We setting up, found a spot. It's a little bit unlevel again, so we've had to get the chocks under the wheels, but we're still not level, but that'll do. So this is us for the next couple of days. <laughs> we haven't gone to have a look around or anything yet, but this is what we can see from our site. We've picked site 11. Site 11, only thing is these sites aren't very level, so we just hope our caravan stays put. We don't really want to run down the hill in the middle of the night. Runaway pod! Right, we're having a day of DIY and sticking things to the caravan. Hey, there's our mates. <laughs> we beat them. Ah. <laughs> what are you up to now? Well, because it's winter and the sun's at such a crappy low angle. Thank you for the PC version of what you were saying. I just said crappy. That's, that's what I true. mean. I said thank you for it. <laughs> I wasn't being smart that time. I'm going to try and hang this on the front of the van. Like that. With some more 3M hooks. <laughs> Good old 3M hooks. I should really just not be a pie to and buy a couple more. Um, flexible panels but I feel like having something permanent on here would upset my architect's wife over here. Yep. As it is just those ugly hooks are quite upsetting. Practicality versus how things look. How things look with Tanya's world always wins. <laughs> I'm not seeing the problem. <laughs> We had to get big daddy hooks because this thing's heavy. Is it 10 kgs? 10 kgs, I reckon. But anyway, we'll see if it stays there. Probably hear it fall down with a thump at some point. It's a bit like the caravan on the precarious angle that we're on. <laughs> the caravan will roll. There's nothing wrong with the caravan angle. <laughs> this solar panel will fall off and then the caravan will roll down the hill. Busy. Just, give, just give me the packet. You didn't specify <laughs> that you wanted the packet open. Yeah, I yeah. might point out. Communication is key. Communication. <laughs> Communicate with you. Gone to sleep before the re all the viewers. It's taking you so long. <laughs> Crooked. <laughs> Definitely crooked. Dropped on the right hand. You can't even argue that that's not crooked. It's perfect. Perfectly crooked. Apparently, if you come here in the weekend. Today is Monday, so not today obviously, but there's heaps of wind surfers and, wind and kite surfers here. Should have been cool to see. I reckon this is a lay down area for the kite boards. That's quite a nice beach. A little bit of, a wee bit of weed, but not too bad. Looking back over the Oh yeah, there's a storm coming on Wednesday. Apparently the mother of two storms meeting together. We'll see what happens. 
<laughs> Can I have a look at the lookout? Do our 5,000 steps. Yeah, it's windy up there. Turn your mic off. <laughs> it's windy everywhere. It's almost like the sun's stuck behind a bushfire or something. We made it to the top. Coronation Bay. $15 per night because someone didn't read the reviews I it correctly. Was 15 per vehicle. It turns out it's 15 per person. <laughs> <laughs> Only blew the budget by double. Which is a little bit specky for no power or no water. This is the first time we've found a shower. What is it? Fifteen dollars a night here. Per person. Per person, and you <laughs> you have to supply your own water. Here's the shower, and they just give you a hook. You hang your stuff on. Hang your solar shower, I guess. This one's a little bit specky for what they give you. Mm. Anyway, this is what it is. There's a cat around here somewhere, but he's not a very good cat. He's not very good at his job because there's a lot of mice. Yeah, the cat was hiding under the truck this morning. And for those people that say, are there mice at Coronation Beach? There are mice. Not, I wouldn't call it plague proportions, but there's definitely mice. But you see, well, it's not a plague, but you see a lot. Like every time you go for a walk, you see a few running across the road. And there was one at the end of our water tube eating the rice from last night's dinner. <laughs> He's having a little munch. We've been coming up here most days at about four o'clock because that seems to be when everyone starts coming in and the changeover happens. We watch the shenanigans of people fighting it out for parks who can get the best campsite. Yeah, it's not that full now, but last night I thought there was going to be fights for campsites. <laughs> <laughs> Go for a walk on the beach before the supposed storm comes in. Well, we're waiting for it. Is definitely cooled down. Yeah, it is not entirely warm anymore. It is not swimming weather. A couple of days ago, might have considered it, but today, but there's like the storm of the century that's supposedly coming the clash of two clouds, <laughs> the, the clash. <laughs> Clash of the storms. You know what is going to happen though is we're going to see if your leak is actually fixed. No, I'm going to park the van so the water goes nowhere near there. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, that wraps up another one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to our channel, check out this video or this video next. And make sure you subscribe below and hit the little bell so you get notified when our next video drops. See ya!